Welcome to Reef and Pond Wise. It's another gorgeous evening in the hobby. In this video, I'm going to show you how to deter rodents in the nocturnal form from getting into your pond. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, if you're new to the channel and you love reef keeping and pond keeping like I do, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss anything. So what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to share a couple of different things that you can do. And I'm going to show you my secret weapon when it comes to things like skunks, rats, uh, possum, raccoon, um, any nocturnal uh, rodent that you would have a concern with around your pond. And the reason I'm sharing this with you is I got a comment from Duty, that's D-U-D-I-E, and I hope I'm saying that correctly. But Duty thinks that uh, there was an issue with a heron or an egret bird in their pond and so until you see what your rodent is or your bird is you really don't know whether it's a bird or rodent right so what do you want to do is have a variety of different tactics in place to deter all predators from your pond now i did a video not too long ago called koi versus predator you can go back and check that out but it's all about uh, egrets and heron and how to keep your pond safe from those type of uh, predators. Now this one here is gonna be a little bit different. Like I say, the nocturnal variety of rodents that come and approach your pond can also eat your fish. But my secret weapon here, guys, is pretty straightforward. And you're actually looking at it. It's the pond lights. And what happens with nocturnal animals is they come out at night because they sleep during the day. And the variety that I just shared with you can stumble upon any pond, anywhere, at any time. So until, like I say, you see what's getting into your pond and violating your space and your koi pond, it's kind of tough to determine what it actually is. So what I like to do, if I notice any kind of nocturnal animal coming to my pond, whether it be my footprints or... Uh, rocks that have been pushed into the pond or uh, a fish which I knock on wood I haven't lost any fish in many many years because of my deterrent uh, activities and what I've got in place uh, but at the end of the day these lights will actually do the trick for you and what I mean by that is this kind of activity now remember that nocturnal means they sleep during the day and they come out at night. Well, it just so happens that skunks and raccoons and rats and all these types of rodents uh, hate with a passion LED lights. And what makes it more interesting is you can do something like this and have a flash variety of different lights happening within your pond and they will run for cover. They'll see these flashing lights and they will not be able to stand uh, the LED lights flashing. And they know they're here. Once they see them, they know they're here and they'll stay away. They won't come back. So, Duty, if you were to confirm that you see an actual egret or an actual heron, then I would say the alligator and the radio is going to be just fine to keep those birds away. But if it's something different and you can confirm that you've got some kind of nocturnal animal that's coming out at night, you may be better off getting a little light system and installing some lights around your pond. Now, the nice thing about these lights, guys, is you can program them. You can keep them on. They're very cheap to run. As you guys probably know, LED is really cheap to run. And you can stop this and just keep a light on consistently. You can change colors. There's a disco effect. There's a ballroom effect but i'm telling you this really does work guys so if you're interested uh this is a set that i got uh provided by uh pond max and it's relatively inexpensive you don't need a bunch of lights depending on the size of your pond you might just want to have one or two lights one on each side of the pond and you don't even need them shining in any particular direction um, aesthetically, if you wanted to shine them up on your water features or um, if you wanted to shine them on the edge of your pond, you're certainly able to go ahead and place these wherever you would like. The main thing is that the nocturnal animals see the light. So 
If you like the video and you think there was any value, uh, hit the like button, guys. And if there's anything that you guys do differently, uh, leave it in the comment section. And I'd love to hear what you guys do in terms of keeping rodents out of the pond. I'm a strong proponent, as you probably know, of keeping things simple. And the nice thing about these lights, not only are they simple, but it, during the day you can't tell that you've got the lights. And if you put stuff around your pond, like a lot of these pond owners will do their their wiring and their, their fish line to keep herons away, and it just does not look good. And so the nice thing about these lights is you're able to kind of hide them during the day and utilize them at night. So. Guys, if you found any value, give me a like, and until next time, anyone can build a pond, but it takes someone special to keep one, and that someone special is you.